Yeah, hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and wolves of all ages. I've Wolf here, sent right in. Coming back with some more of the Fallout series. This is part 11. Hello. So. What are you hiding? All odds and ends in this one. Oh, hush. But, um. I meant to make episode. Sorry, part 10 be far longer, but I forgot that was part 10, so. Hi. With the Vertibird Air, what it is. we're ready to proceed with the next part of our plan reaching command. You've helped us get this far, and I would appreciate your continued assistance. We don't know what the situation at command may be. I would strongly suggest equipping yourself, well, to cover any eventualities. Why do we need this place again? Our attempts to make contact with the base have been futile, so we have to assume the worst. We also can't afford to abandon it. We're under-equipped and sitting ducks out here. Our only option is taking the vertebrate and assessing the situation at base. Yeah, some nice looking pins you got there, sir. Tell me about my role in this. Upon arrival, you are to assist Captain Peterson and myself in investigating the facility. You've proven yourself useful so far. Continue to do so and we'll ensure you are appropriately rewarded. Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. Good. Captain Peterson and I will be equipping some suits of the T-51 power armor we found stored here <laughs> as a precaution. Time to go. Sir, I'm in T-60D power armor. D as in Delta, sir. General, I'm, I have better power than you, sir, General. Get in the gunner's position. We've got to be ready for anything. Sir. I've been connecting told elevator, the Valentine sending command. Signs are an eyesore, but they sure bring in the business. All right. Oh, yeah, it's gonna cut the black. I forgot about that. We are a go. Oil levels nominal. Hydraulics nominal. Better get comfortable. ETA is three hours. Ooh, Remember, baby. when we land, Fitzpatrick stays with Dr. Kane. The rest of us will investigate command. Yes, yes sir. sir. I don't remember if it's supposed to stay faded to black or not. It's been a little while since I've done this. There oh, is. there we go. Command. Fitzpatrick, can you hail them? Yes, sir. Command, this is Victor Bravo 3504. That tanker right there is going to be our next mission. Soon enough. Again. Command, this is Victor Bravo 3504. Do you copy? Over. I don't like this. I can't make out any activity from here. Lieutenant, before we land, I want you to circle the oil rig. Let's get eyes on the situation. Yes, sir. ETA, 30 seconds. Thirty seconds. Sir, I need to test the weapon system. Make sure we're up. The, the minigun's working. My God. There's a boat down there. I'm not seeing anyone. Are those corpses? Little tugboat. Sir, those are ghouls. I recommend staying at a distance. Allowing me to engage in with the minigun, sir. General, did did you hear that? I, I highly recommend letting picking them off at range, sir. General. I'm bringing the bird into land. No, negative. Don't do that. Oh God, we're. Oh no. Fitzpatrick, I don't recommend it. Those are ghouls. Everyone else, we need to 
find a way inside. Let's move. I'm just trying to prevent them from getting up into the mini bird. Thing is, they're all over on this side, pretty much. We'll be taking that. What was that? Hold fire. Wonder glue. Hell yeah. I'm running around with Rosie with these ghouls, but it doesn't seem to be working too well. Oh. We got casualties, sir. Multiple personnel have been, well, they've been gone for a while, General. Weapons workbench right there. Handy, but not what I need at the moment. Dear God, look at the dents that that five millimeter minigun threw into the wall. Realistically, that would keep going. All right, folks. So, pop quick save. Oh, level up, cool. Oh, we have two levels. Wait, when did that happen? Um. Just drop. Point in the gun nut. Awareness. If you enemies know their weaknesses, you can target specific damage resistances and that. Um. Keep your distance long and kill. Take a point to that. As well, because we're using pistol primarily, which is not exactly ideal, but it is what it is. We're the Enclave, damn it. We don't fear no rancid corpses. General Ward's got a plasma pistol. Intriguing. I'm 
sorry, General, but that won't do. That's not a standard issue DC or Z weapon. It's not a standard issue Republic weapon, sir. Blaster. Well, this man definitely died at his post. He got helloed to the face. So it's uh, the, these two, apparently. Their weapons are still here. Flight control. So many power armor users right now. <laughs> I got a whole fire team of nothing but power armor. What a mess. Watch out, more of them. Good soldiers, man. These were good soldiers. Gosh dang shame they had to be overrun like this. Surely would have served us pretty dang well too, General. Man, we obliterated whatever that guy was. Had almost nothing but arms and legs left. Jeez. Don't have the key card to go there. Seems clear. Seems clear, but doesn't mean it is, Captain. Hold it right there. Identify yourselves immediately before I open. This is a restricted area. What? General Russell Ward, United States Army. Just what the hell is going on here? General, we need to talk. There's hostels all around and most doors are jammed. You need to go left and make your way up the catwalks. The door behind me still works. It'll bring you to the war room. Meet me in there. It's the safest place on the oil rig. Understood. Let's move out. Yes, General. But, uh... Oh, jeez! Oh, my God. Jump scare me, will you? Come on, game. Don't do that. Don't do me. I hear that. Again. 
I do not like jump scares, folks. Wonder Glue is great. They're uh, ghouls, in general. Fire control is a key part of a firefight. You know, to control one's fire. Look, it's good to be able to fire rapidly, but you also need to maintain fire control at the same time. Did we almost get flanked? Yeah, we almost got flanked. Yeah, everyone here. I can only imagine Colonel White. I think that's her name. White? Like, I know she's a colonel. I just don't remember her name off the top of my head. Oil Ray Department of Science. But I can only imagine her reaction. She sees a vertebrate land. She sees four um, people in power armor just walk out, start gutting down all of these ghouls, and she's like, who the hell are you? I can only imagine how she's th what she's thinking right now. And it's not likely to be something that pleases her. Uh, silver fork. I mean, silver is useful to a degree. I mean, Munich Slayer's light enclave combat armor chest piece reduces damage by from super mutants. That's interesting. said. Okay, yeah, so gentlemen. Oh, hell yeah. Need glass sooner or later. All right, let's move out, gentlemen. Thermal detonator out. Reach, 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 reach. <laughs> Sirs, we need more people out in the hallway other than just me. Oh hell yeah, aluminum can. That was a frag out, that was not a necessary frag out, but...
There's gonna be a jump scare boy here somewhere. Okay. I managed to cancel what that, that was about. I was about to toss a frag for no reason. Jeez Louise, that's a lot of strawberry jam in here. Come on, Nick, let's get moving. Once you have them help me clear out the airfield and hangar thing, the vertebrate hangar. Jeez, man, you get that impossible to reach now. Okay, well, hangar bay is cleared. I guess that's good. It's a cargo bay, I guess. Okay. I'm gonna say that level C, for the time being, I'm gonna say as much as we can, level C is, we've cleared as much as we can for level C, so. Let's move on up, words, I guess. Clear. And when that room is clear. Body just went straight down. Got the pier to send general. I'm going to fatigue soon. General Ward, welcome into the supply room, sir. This is kind of my uh, cup of tea, if you will. Looks like someone's been. Looks like there was an uh, improper acquisition of supplies, sir. Someone was drinking in here, sir. I'm pretty sure that's uh, against regulation, sir. But uh, you know, the uh, culprit seems to be uh, no longer with us, sir. So posthumously court-martialed. Clever here, sir.
80 pounds. That's not worth picking up at the moment. I have no reason to. Cells. Anything useful? Yeah, for future, for the future, yes. Might still be the area. Sorry, folks, oh, won't be chewing on us. Captain. It's ill-advised. Oh my god. Oh, oh my eye. That hurt to look at. General Captain, it is ill-advised to separate yourselves from me and my colleague here. I put Nick in a power armor for a reason. It's better that the Captain uh, Peterson saw him. The general saw him, and we did in deep doo doo. I'm clear, gentlemen. Floor clear. Dude, I wish I could walk around like them right now where my pistol is at my side, not in my hands. Sorry, General, I'm over here trying to pre-clear everything. Accessible. Nick will stay with me. So now that we, those two found the war room, we got close to the war room with them, I should say. Folders are useful to me now because of a mod. I forget which mod it is, but it's the one that gives me all the decals. I can make stuff with folders. That's a graphical glitch. We're gonna pretend it doesn't exist. My god, that hurts my eyes. Okay. Come on, Nick, let's get moving. Finish clearing the the sector. Okay, these are all inaccessible. All right. General Ford. How? Hey, Vault I'll let you know camp. if I need you. We can talk about that later. Right now, I need to know what happened here. Who are you, soldier? I'm Colonel Whitehill. Yeah, Whitehill. I served here under General Douglas up until 2279, when the lab suffered a containment breach. After that, everything fell apart. Those of us that didn't die abandoned the oil rig and either went into hiding or deserted. God, how could this happen? And these creatures, how many are there? How do we get rid of them? Those things are ghouls. The labs were working on some sort of project to create and use them as fodder. It went very badly. The oil rig's defenses were down, so we were sitting ducks. I returned here a few days ago with salvaged equipment to repair the targeting computer. It's all in place now. The only thing left to do is restart the reactors, and the defenses should do the rest. Those are your orders, Colonel. Take our friend with you and get those reactors online. Captain Peterson and I will show up here. Dismissed. Hey there. This won't be easy. There's a lot of ghouls roaming the oil rig. Are you ready? 
I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. First things first. Take this ID card. You're gonna need it. The oil rig's currently on lockdown. If we want to get to the reactors, we need to override it. To do that, you need to send an override command from the terminals of General Douglas, Dr. Richmond, and Senator Clark. Let's move out. Yes, ma'am. Imagine my giant T sixty power armor self just sitting here in a chair of all things. Take the pencil. Yeah, so long as you're carrying it. They came in through the bottom, which means the means that almost all of that has been secured. Search and development. Get in the training zone. We'll secure this. Plasma, scatter gun. Bunch of goodies. Bridge and clear, bridge and clear. Bridge, 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 bridge. Somebody's here. Bridge, bridge, bridge.
Yeah, they were working on SEDs here. is now secure we can now access the computer and send the lockdown override Come back to that computer in a second. Because I'm going to RP the heck out of this one a little. Or clear. Two floors above me are clear. This has been designed to be a hellhole to take. Holding cells. That door is not openable. That one's not even openable, even if it wasn't blocked. Sector clear. Advancing to the computer.
Room is clear. Excellent. Play field manual hand handbook. Make sure the Enclave Field Handbook. You are now able to build a Enclave flags and posters at settlements and wor uh, settlement workshops. Uh, identify identification friend or foe. Hmm. Alright. This sector of the rig is clear. Sending the override. All that court, should do it. Court we need to head for the reactors now. Set up. The entrance is back in the military ops building. Yes, ma'am. Back to mill ops. After we're done with this particular quest, I will be ending the episode. My eyes are sore. I've been recording all day, so well, episode this part. Waiting for everyone to stack up. Okay, squads with uh, the group, fire teams together. Okay, there we go. Can you just imagine three to four people in power armor just sitting in an elevator? That'd be. Fun. I don't know what it is, but that, that idea of music. Needs. All these heavily armed guys in these tiny little elevators while we're all in power armor. This next part's gonna suck. Broken.
she not start talking? I went AFK so that way. Where is she? Colonel Whitehill. <coughs> oh. We're here. This is the reactor control room. Are you ready to restart the reactors? Yes, ma'am. Ready. I'll have a look at the terminal and see what the situation is. I'm so sorry, folks. I thought I forgot you to talk to her first. Otherwise, I would have done so. By the looks of it, we got lucky. The reactors are still intact. It's just a matter of inserting the dampening coils and nuclear agitators. You should be able to find spares in the reactor room. Probably in containers. This is important. You need to insert the agitators in the lower insertion point and the dampeners in the upper insertion point. Copy. Don't mix it up. Agitators, I'll power on each lower reactor insertion, as you insert dampeners the components. In the upper. And when both are on, I'll be able to restore the defenses. Just be careful. I'm reading a rad leak in there. There should be some equipment around here that can help protect you if you need it. One last thing. Negative, Those bulkheads will lock behind you to contain the rats. I should be able to unlock them once the reactors are on. Good luck. Should be. I don't like how you said that, ma'am, but uh, we don't have much choice here. Dampener up here. One reactor is now online. I sincerely wonder what would happen if we did it in reverse. not in here. Oh, come on, Nick. Great, I can't even command. Oh, I was going to use Nick as a decoy and all kinds of fun ideas. Man, okay. Guess the developers thought about that. Oh, the, the mod developers thought about that. Here somewhere. I just need to figure out where it was. No accounting for taste. Nick, you be quiet. You're you didn't follow instructions and come with me, so Start venting the rat. 
rads out of there and get the defenses online. Hmm. I flushed the radiation, but the bulkheads are still locked. Turn I think getting the defenses somewhere. online will unlock them. Wait, I I'm, I'm picking up movement in the vents. Might be ghouls? The noise must have attracted them. Watch your back! Something out there. Big boy. in here now. Shooters Enclave AER 99A1 rifle does the oh does 50% more damage against robots. You say interesting. Oh, she even came up in here. I was more worried about Nick, Colonel, but you know, uh, you're welcome. And you're a welcome side as well, ma'am. Okay. We did a good amount of looting there. We can even take the elevator now. See? Every time I get used to that stupid Going up. 11 elevator, it messes me up now. One thing has gone to plan. Good work, you two. It's encouraging that so much seems to have powered on. Maybe most of the damage here is in fact superficial. What we need now, most of all, is manpower. Permission to speak, sir? Granted, Colonel. When we lost the oil rig, we also lost the ability to communicate with other outposts in the region. I don't know how many of those outposts are still around, but 
If we could bring the comms equipment back online, we could order them to regroup here. I see. Do we have the necessary equipment to restore communications? We don't, but I know where we could find it. You probably saw the U.S. NS Harper stranded not far from here when you flew in. It was the oil rig's primary supply vessel. During the evacuation, some troops tried to flee on it. I assume the ship broke down not long after. I don't know what happened to those on board, but if anywhere has the equipment we need, it's there. Excellent. That will be our immediate objective. Lieutenant Fitzpatrick will take our friend here to the USNS Harper and attempt to recover it. Meanwhile, Colonel, I believe a full debrief is in order. Yes, sir. I realize that I have not been forthcoming with you about who we are exactly. You've helped us get this far, so it's about time I tell you. Hmm. We are the Enclave. The last bastion of our beloved America. It is our duty to undo the damage caused by the Great War, and I will ensure we succeed. From what I have seen here today, we have a lot of work to do. I extend to you an invitation to join us in this work. What now? The Enclave? Who are you people exactly? The Enclave came to be long before the bombs dropped. The nation's brightest minds, our best fighters, our devoted politicians, all and as I one. wasn't invited. From the shadows, we worked tirelessly for the good of our country. We made sure that no matter the threat, inside or out, we were ready. We were the true patriots. Now, we are the continuation of the United States of America. And we are duty-bound to rebuild it. Hmm. So, what now? First, we proceed with Colonel Whitehill's plan. It's the best lead we have. After that, we rebuild. With these ghouls gone, we're safe here. Your cause seems noble. I'm pleased you think so. You are proving to be valuable to us. Valentine just like that. Find Lieutenant Fitzpatrick Valentine. at the Verbird when you're ready to head for the ship. I was afraid Valentine would not like this. Look alive. I'm... I wish I could see how much he can carry. That would be nice. Press fifty cat ooh. They don't say. Murder's light with their arm. Carry anymore. Okay. All ears. Well, folks, that's all the time we have. Please remember to like, share, comment. I like, comment, share, subscribe, ring the peace bell. And I will see you all next time. I will center red on. I will.